Correct. And you can think of each one of these large tanks here as your water softener. It's filled with the media. Uh, that media, as the water enters the top of the tank, it passes through that media. That media is charged so that it uh, accepts the hardness uh, minerals. And the hardness, the hardness minerals pull out of the water, they get attracted to the media. Uh, that media slowly gets used as water is passing through it to the point that it basically fills up. Okay. So that after a certain amount of time, after a certain amount of water flows through that, we have to backwash it just like a water softener in your home does. Um, which case you have to run basically a salt brine solution through. When you run the salt brine solution through, that's negatively charged, it pulls all the hardness that was attached to the media off the media into the water, into the salt brine water, which then comes and flows out, and gets pumped out of the tank. What happened is because the, the softening plants are being used more and more, um, and the, the wastewater from the softening plants are going to the wastewater treatment plants. Okay. There's now a concern regarding the radium in the sludge in the wastewater treatment plant. So the EPA is looking at it not just, they're saying if you're bringing it up out of the ground, we want it not going anywhere on the ground, essentially, in the ground or on the water. In the water. So um, that also might affect how we end up treating or, or handling our backwash water. We don't have any other alternative means. Mm -hmm. um, we are in the process of looking at Lake Michigan water once again, so we did have to have uh, an allocation uh, a year, half a year, a year ago. We got an allocation for Lake Michigan water. So because of the concerns with the radium uh, in the backwash water, um, we're looking at that pretty intensely because of the fact that if that cost ends up coming through, it's going to be something that we won't be able to